What's up YouTube? I had a problem with my cluster today. Let me show you. Where's my odometer? Where's my display that says I'm in park? Hmm. Let's play with the toggle a little bit. No, still nothing. Still nothing. Alright, let's play with the lights. nothing. So I went and checked the fuse. It's a 10 amp fuse located in here. So I put the spare in. What I noticed was when I took the fuse out I, I put the uh, ignition on and both of these displays are run off the same fuse and when I pulled the fuse out neither one worked. And y'all just saw that when the fuse is in this one works so it's not the fuse so I went ahead and uh, pulled the dash the, the trim cover off in order to do that you gotta put your steering wheel all the way down and you gotta put the shifter first gear all the way down this whole panel just pulls off but it's looking like now we got an electrical issue with this I have noticed that it has intermittently gone out and then back on but now it's completely off. Even when I go to start the motor, it's off. So I think it's a loose connection. It uh, makes sense to me because it was doing it intermittently before. So it's not like it just died. It's got to be a loose connection. I think it was aggravated when I was down here beating on the blower motor to get it to turn on. Sometimes the blower motor hangs up. I don't know if it's something to do with the bearings in it. But I'll go to turn on the AC and nothing happens. You'll hear the compressor kick on, but no blower motor. You have to come down here and beat on the the motor housing. Sometimes turns on if you beat on it. Next thing I'm going to do is take these bolts out and we're going to pull this cluster out. Alright, so to get these four bolts out, I'm using a 7mm socket with extension. I'm just going to pull these out and then this whole cluster should come out. There's a power cord in there with a blue connector that I'll have to undo. Alright, so here's the instrument cluster out of the truck. Uh, this is apparently a pretty common problem with this LCD intermittently going out. Uh, it's a common problem from 99 to 2002 GM trucks. So what I have to do is take this back panel off and then check the solder joints on this LCD board. Sometimes they are uh, not soldered completely. So I'm going to check that. If that looks fine, then I'm just going to put a little white grease on that connector pin and hopefully it works. Alright, uh, so when you pull this back cover off, you're going to see the back side of this circuit board. Um, it's only set on here, it's not held on by anything. This just pulls off. So what we're going to do now is unclip this. See these little clips in there? I'm going to unclip it and carefully bend this up so that I can inspect the solder joints here. This is the common pin to not be soldered right, so we're going to check it. Well, I checked the connections and they all seem to be soldered on there fine. So I'm just going to put everything back together, and uh, we'll see. Well, as you can see, everything works now. After cleaning the terminal, so let's go for a test romp. Mm, she's a bit flooded.